In today's video, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Lord of this World by Black Sabbath. What's going on? Welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Let's get right into it. We are in C-sharp standard tuning, so grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's riff number one, nice and slow. <laughs> so good. Starts with a grace note hammer on from five up to seven. This is on the third string. We actually do this twice in a row. Second time we go back to the fifth fret. Then we go four, five, then grace note hammer on from five up to seven. So far. Last part goes low string, seven, six, seven, seven. All together. Here's the first half of riff number two, nice and slow. This is great. Kind of goes into a shuffle rhythm here. Starts on the root note, seventh fret, third string. And we play it, and then it's gonna be an audible mute, so it's like, then a regular hammer on from five up to seven. Then another mute. So far. From there goes seven, then another hammer on five up to seven. From there, it's fifth fret, second string, seven on the third string, then five, seven again. So far. Next part goes like this. So that's five hammer up to seven, mute, then another five up to seven hammer on. Then low string, seventh fret, third string, five, six. That last part. First half of riff number two, nice and slow. <laughs> so good. The second half plays exactly the same, except the final phrase. So I'm going to play it all the way through so you can hear it, then we'll Check out the end. <laughs> it's great. We go up to the high octave. So it's second string, ninth fret, then seven, eight on the high string. 
Here's riff number two, all the way through, nice and slow. So during the verse, we bounce back and forth between those two ideas and they break it up toward like about two thirds of the way through by going. So this is low string, seven, six, then five on the low string and we're doing a full power chord arpeggio. So that's five on the low string, seven on the third string, seven on the second string. Then we're walking down the minor pentatonic scale, fifth fret on the second string, back to the root, that's the seventh fret, on the third string, then fifth fret on the third string. That last part. So good, so much fun to play. Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons and all these tabs happen. Thank you so much. Riff number three, nice and slow. So good. We are going ninth fret on the third string, and we're going nine, seven then nine on the low string. Back up to the first note, ninth fret, third string. Then we slide out. Then we go up to the second string, grace note hammer on from nine up to 11. Nine, seven on the second. From there it goes back, seventh fret, third string, so. We play this three times, so I'm just gonna play it three times so you can check it out. Last time we play it, we cut it short, it goes. So basically just leaving out that last seventh fret, third string, so. So good. Here's the main idea of riff number four, nice and slow. So it starts with that full power chord arpeggio, seventh fret on the third string, nine on the second, nine on the high. Then we're messing around in that minor pentatonic goes. So it's nine on the high string, then a grace note hammer on 
from seven back up to nine. Another one, then back to seven. Then nine on the second string. Then we go third fret, third string, up to the fifth fret. And we do variations on this. So I'm just going to play it uh, the first four times. So let's check it out. So much fun to play. So riff number five has a really cool function. We are coming out of the guitar solo and setting up the next verse. So out of the guitar solo goes riff number one, then riff number five, and then back into riff number one. Uh, I'm gonna play the riff number one into riff number five so you can check it out. Oh, cool. So riff number five starts, seventh fret, low string. Then we jump up to the high octave, ninth fret on the second string. And we're going to add a grace note hammer on from seven up to nine on the, high, on the second string. Then we go fifth fret, play five times. Back to the seventh fret. Back to the fifth fret. Back into riff number one. It just doesn't get any better than that. All right, let's check out the outro at full speed. But before we do, thanks for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This way YouTube will show this thing to more fans of Black Sabbath, just like we are. And if you want to see a full playthrough synced with the tabs, check out the Beholden to the Riff Patreon page. <laughs> <laughs>